हिलबर्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ सी फंक्शन सिंक फंक्शन इज डिनोटेड बाय सिंक टी इट इज साइन पाई टी बाय पाई टी एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड दी हिलबर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ दिस सिंक फंक्शन सपोज input to this hilbert transformer is xt here xt is sin t impulse response of hilbert transformer is xt which is uh, 1 by pi t then we have to find the Y T output of this Hilbert transformer. So Y T is X T convolved with H T, or output of the system is input convolved with the impulse response of the system. This is in time domain. Now in frequency domain, Y F is X F. into hf where xf is fourier transform of uh, input xt and hd is sorry hf is fourier transform of impulse response hd this hf is called transfer function or frequency response of hilbert transformer so now so now let us find the fourier transform of sin t in fact fourier transform of sin t is rectangular pulse this is rect f if i draw this rectangular pulse then it is 1 from minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2 and it is zero otherwise this is fourier transform of sin function that is xf now impulse response of hilbert transformer is 1 by pi t and its fourier transform is minus j sigma f now if i draw the fourier transform of impulse response of hilbert transformer or fourier for a transform of 1 by pi t that is hf or transfer function then it is minus j for positive frequencies and it is plus j for negative frequencies this is the fourier transform of impulse response of hilbert transformer that is minus j sigma f now we have xf and hf so taking the product of xf and hf if 
आई मल्टी मल्टीप्लाय एक्स एफ विथ एच एफ देन वाई एफ इज माइनस जे फ्रॉम जीरो टू पॉइंट फाइव and it is plus j from minus 0.5 to 0 and it is zero otherwise so this is yf or fourier transform of hilbert transform of sin t so now we will find out the inverse fourier transform of yf and that will give the hilbert transform of sin t yt is inverse fourier transform of yf or this yt is integration of yf e to the power j 2 pi f t from minus infinity to plus infinity now this yf is plus j from minus 0.5 to 0 so lower limit of integration is minus 1 by 2 upper limit is 0 and yf is j into e to the power j 2 pi f t and then from 0 to 0.5 yf is minus j from 0 to 1 by 2 yf is minus j e to the power j 2 pi f t now we will integrate this so y t is j integration of e to the power j 2 pi f t is 1 by j 2 pi t into e to the power j 2 pi f t lower limit of integration is minus 1 by 2 upper limit of integration is 0 minus j then integration of e to the power j 2 pi f t is again 1 by j 2 pi t e to the power j 2 pi f t lower limit of integration 0 upper limit is 1 by 2 now substituting the limits we have 1 upon 2 pi t e to the power 0 is 1 then minus e to the power j 2 pi 1 by 2 with negative sign t minus 1 upon 2 pi t e to the power j 2 pi 1 by 2 t minus e to the power 0 is 1 so now yt is uh this is 1 upon 2 pi t and minus minus plus 1 upon 2 pi t so 2 by 2 pi t then minus 1 upon 2 pi t now we have this e to the power j pi t and then plus e to the power j pi t 
or this can be written as this we can write 1 by pi t minus e to the power j pi t plus e to the power this is minus e to the power j pi t plus e to the power minus j pi t by 2 is cos pi t and then in denominator we have pi t. So this is the Hilbert transform of sin t or 1 minus cos pi t divided by pi t is the Hilbert transform of sin t or sin function.